I legit hope, I legit hope that I made sense to at least one person just to that one person that i'm doing this video for i hope this answers your questions so the few that want to hear say those who have ear let him hear let him not enter here and fall out from the other ear hi people welcome back to my channel my name is theodosia if you're new tuning in welcome thank you for joining I do lifestyle content, more content about Mauritius. I live in Mauritius. I'm a Nigerian content creator living in Mauritius. If this is not your first time tuning in, you already know what's up. So today I have like um, a couple of things that I want to discuss. And hopefully, I do not have a script. Hopefully, hopefully um, I'm able to just pass my message across. I put up a post on my community tab you guys should check it out if you have any questions you know you want to ask you could ask them in the comment section or you could go into the community tab now community that post actually is just for you know questions about Mauritius I want to do like you know different videos about you know your questions so that I can have more I can have in more detail because I feel like if I try to answer your questions in one video I will not have that time right and we will not have that time i will not be able to pass my message across how to know if mauritius is the country for you and really i feel like this doesn't just translate to mauritius translates to anybody who wants to literally japa so far you're leaving one country and going to another country how do you really know that country is for you right i have like three pointers but i know that i'm going to talk about more pointers um here so the first thing is ask the right questions this conversation actually came up from a conversation i was having with one of my subscribers a few days ago right and this is exactly what i told her you need to make sure that you're asking the right questions what do i mean by asking the right questions when you say you want to leave a country to another country you need to first of all ask what country is suitable for me how do i even want to leave the country that i'm in do I want to be a student? Am I skilled enough to get a job there? Do they need my services? So those are the first questions that you need to be asking. If we come down to what Mauritius is, how do you know Mauritius is the right country for you? First of all, do you want to come here as a student? Do you want to come and live here long term? And then once you are able to answer that question, you will now be able to ask, you know, subsequent question if you're coming through school um what kind of courses will benefit you either short term or long term so i feel like the thing is to always have short term goals and long term goals right so if you have short term goals do i just want to come and become a student and go back to wherever i'm coming from and maybe get a job if not if i don't want to be a student if i don't want to go back to my country do i want to work here with the certificate that i get if your answer is yes on this side and if your answer is yes on this side the next question you ask yourself is what kind of jobs would i be able to get with that certificate and what kind of jobs will i be able to get in the country where i am relocating to aka mauritius or wherever country you are relocating to right that question or that answer that you get would be able to make you understand properly right so say for example i'm just going to give an example if you say you want to come to mauritius as a student and you want to work you want to stay here longer let me let me even backtrack not all countries offers all courses right there are places that are preferred to go to for some certain courses say for example if you want to be a doctor if you want to study pharmacy if you want to be a lawyer you need to streamline your courses by your location or where you want to be going to now that being said you know post study don't have those opportunities for you so you might be thinking of going to another country another thing would be let's say nursing i know there are people who study nursing in mauritius right but you need to now ask yourself that when i finish my nursing school when I finish studying nursing, would I be able to work as a nurse in Mauritius? And the answer is probably no, because if you do not speak French, it's going to be more difficult for you to be able to attend to patients, to be able to work with you know, people in the hospital. So that being said, that being said, Mauritius might not be the best option for you. 
now so that's school school is an entirely different you know topic on its own so if you guys want me to do a different video on that explaining please do let me know in the comment section and i'll have i'll be happy to do that the next thing is okay do you want to come here and stay longer how do you want to do that you need to plan your route both short term and then both long term you need to be able to find out what visas would work and what visas do not work because just like every other country in the world you are going to be relocating if you're going to be moving as an immigrant you don't necessarily get just go there and, and and stay for longer there is always a projection right now that being said you also need to make sure you do your research and find out if these countries can actually offer you you know a longer stay like 10 years 15 years i know there are countries that do permanent residencies there are countries that offer citizenships so you want to now find out if the country you're relocating to can offer those things for example mauritius doesn't offer you citizenship if you if you like bf 500 yet right there are certain criteria and there are certain categories that you would have to apply for that but it's very very streamlined my subscriber that i spoke to some days ago said oh she wants to come here and set up a business if you want to come here and set up a business you need to be able to think is mauritius the right market for me what kind of business can i set up in mauritius because different markets different geographic locations and different needs and wants that's basically what business is all about right and then creating well you could create the need but if that need is not even there in the first place then your business is going to fail that's a different topic on its own but if you are coming to an already established situation and then you're already in the minority as an immigrant you need to be feeling a want now if you're coming into Mauritius and you are trying to set up a business that would not work in this location, in this geographic location, then you're already setting up yourself for failure. That being said, you can't just come into Mauritius as a, a tourist and set up a business because you would need a certain type of visa. You would also need proof of funds for your business, for yourself. There's so much money that goes into it. If you guys also want me to do, you know, separate videos on the different types of visas in Mauritius, I have done that, but I think maybe I didn't explain enough. So I'm going to try to separate all of them. Please let me know in the comment section and I'll be doing that. For that, I know you need to have like proper investment. You need to be able to pump like lots thousands and thousands of dollars right and then your business needs to be able to generate an x amount of money once i think you are you've hit your three-year mark so there's so many laws and restrictions that you have to abide by so you can't really you know pumping money into something you do not think is going to work in the first place now hear me out I'm not saying you should not relocate. I'm saying if you want to relocate, you should make sure you ask your questions. Especially in these current times where we are having a global economical crisis and money is no longer what it used to be. You cannot just wake up in money and spend thousands and thousands of millions and still get it wrong. Now that being said, you would also have to take into consideration the quality of lifestyle quality of living and what i mean by that is the people you would also want to take into consideration basically how money is being spent in this country so day-to-day -day living how expensive is food how expensive is housing there's so many so many so many so many factors that come into relocating because once you relocate you're building a life a new life and you're trying to fit into that environment you are new to a lot of things and you don't necessarily you won't even necessarily fit in immediately whether you come in as an expert whether you come in as a student there's so many mistakes you would make including financial mistakes buying a lot of things that you probably don't need or you know probably going to the most expensive places that you shouldn't even have you know gone to not knowing cheaper places right i know a lot of people are you know running and leaving the country even a lot of people are leaving mauritius that's why the fact that a lot of people are coming to mauritius a lot of people are leaving mauritius do your research ask questions 
Find out from people who are there. Don't find out from agents who have not been there before and is basically hearsay because they just want to collect money from you at the end of the day. Because if you come here... Now, one of the biggest questions that I get on a daily basis is, can I come to Mauritius and work? When you ask questions, you get to find out that they are coming in on a tourist visa. And they've been sold the fact that they can come to Mauritius get a job, menial jobs, and work and stay here. And once you are here on a tourist visa, after 14 days, you basically are illegal. If you've not renewed, if you've not left, you're illegal. And that has a lot of other implications. People see people on, on Instagram, on TikTok, on Twitter, you know, when I left versus when I'm how many years I've spent in the country. And then you think that, oh, that country is good enough for you because you've seen somebody from what they were before and what they are now. And it's usually not like that. It's really, really never like that, if I'm being completely honest. There are a lot of countries that are looking for people to migrate to, and basically they are selling those things. Or they are selling, think of visas like different packages. So they are selling those visas, or they are selling those different packages, and you just have to buy one that suits you literally that is it nobody is going to force you to do what you don't want to do right and then it's just like okay you go to canada you stay you get your um pr from your pr you can apply for your citizenship and all of those things right mauritius doesn't sell that package and if that's the package you're looking for mauritius is not for you the other country is i legit hope i legit hope that i made sense to at least one person and if you are thinking of relocating write down your questions ask your questions get somebody to answer your questions in fact get two or three people to answer your questions that are not agents because half of the time agents are wrong they just want to collect your money and once you've collected your money, you're your own. And if you do not do your research, you will fall into the wrong hands. And at the end of the day, you are the one to blame. Just to that one person that I'm doing this video for, I hope this answers your questions. I hope this, you know, brings like a light bulb in your head. I hope this, you know, makes you want to ask questions on what you're doing if you are do going on a new journey you need people who are more experienced than you to take you on that journey make sure you know people who have been there three years five years ten years one year ask them different questions gather your information and then you're able to know what works for you best that's literally all i'm saying that's the top that's the middle that's the bottom turn down shaking over that's literally everything that I am seeing. Some people who are more business inclined than they are 9 to 5 At the end of the day, they know that 9 to 5 is not what will work for them long term. And they will probably want to set up a business. There are some countries that make it hard for you to set up a business as a foreigner. And there are some places where it's a little bit more easier for you to set up a business. Whether you're a student, whether you're an expert, whether you're a tourist, right? So you should be able to, you know, ask questions, do your due diligence, find find out, like, the world, when 2024, there's literally no reason. There is literally, like, I, I, I kid you not, there's literally no reason why you do not have information on what you're looking for. Information is, there's an information overload in the world in general. All you just have to go to is go to Google, look for what, Google is a search engine platform. YouTube is a search engine platform and most of these countries have their legit government websites where they have where they have information about how to migrate the steps and then people like me and other you know YouTubers in other countries do take out their time to do videos like this so that you can watch so that you can learn based on their experiences based on whatever it is and then you are able to now come back take that information that you've gathered and use it to do something good instead of coming in with a blind eye. I hope with these few points of mine, I'll be able to convince you. If you're not convinced at this point, I cannot help you. So the few that want to hear, say those who have ear, let him hear. Let him not enter here and fall out from the other ear.